Hey guys, Muckle Games here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to detect players with command blocks to do things like play sounds, open doors, and send messages. Alright, so over here first I'm going to show you how to play sounds. Um, most of you should know, but you do slash or T and you type in place, uh, sorry, play sound in Minecraft and you can do whatever you want and then you do whatever that thing is, it should automatically, if you click tab, it'll automatically set down what category it is, and then you do either your name or at player, and the coordinates, it'll play that sound at you. So, right here I have uh, a harp noise, which is just a note block, and it's going to play the sound at the player in a certain range. So. I'll show you what the the command is. Alright, so here's the command. Play sound and the sound source at the player and the coordinates. You don't have to do coordinates if you do at player, a, at P or at A. Uh, and you just put the numbers here. You usually don't have to change these. But for note blocks, you do have to change the pitch to certain numbers, which you just can look up on online and it'll have the different pitches for different notes. For example, this is C sharp, and if I connect this redstone, it'll play C sharp in a range of one. So if I back away, it'll get smaller. And the range for this is weird. I don't know the multiple, but one is pretty large, and if you change it to like 100, it's going to go very far. I can go very far, and you'll still be able to hear it. So that'd be good if instead of using note blocks to make a song, you want to use command blocks so you can hear it across your whole world. So that's one good use for it. But instead of doing that, if you want to target at a certain player so it plays the sound wherever they are instead of in a certain radius of the command block, you have to do the slash execute command or just execute. So execute at player and three tildes and then do the same command. You don't you don't need a slash for this. And just the same command at player tilde 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 and just the same stuff. And that'll play the sound wherever I am. Alright, next we have another example of playing a sound at a player, and if you put this in the cave. So this is test four slash test four, just test four a player. Test four closest player, radius of 2. So when I'm two blocks away from this command block, it'll detect it and give out a redstone signal which will be put into this comparator and put into that command block. And that command block is playing ambient sound cave at the closest player. So, it plays a sound. And using this detect player, you can open a door, um, and instead of just detecting the player, see this command block is always active, so it might generate some lag. It's always detecting for a player, so if you have a lot of them, it's going to start lagging whatever world or server you're playing on. So you want to have needs redstone and impulse. So when I step it on this pressure plate, it'll activate the command block and it'll test for, it'll execute execute search from my name and it'll test for pl at player in radius of two but it has to be me so I put execute Monkos Billy because that's my name instead of doing execute Monkos Billy you could just do you could just do test for at P so it detects whatever player is near this thing this uh, pressure plate but for this it it has to be me I have to be here to open this door if someone else steps in this pressure plate the door won't open but since it's me, the door will open. But the one problem with this command is that when this activates, it stays active until you update this block. Which is a problem because in survival, or you, you can't update this block anyway because it's a command block. Alright, to fix this, we're just going to clone this command block that's right here. After the door opens with the clone command, I don't know if you know how to use it, but I'm going to make another video on how to clone. I'll just show you what to do in this video. So you just make this same exact thing right here, this command block and this comparator. 
you just place it, it doesn't matter where you place it, you just place it anywhere. And you do slash clone the comparator and the command block. And all I'm doing is just looking at the command block and clicking tab three times, so the X, Y, and Z. And then, so I'm going to clone that, and I'm going to clone it on this command block. Two, three. So when I do that, it just clones it. Boom. Just like that. And then you're going to copy those coordinates. There. Copy it. And do, put it right there. And this has to be uh, two repeaters because see uh, the pressure plate when you click it takes about a second to go back up and that's too fast if you just have one repeater and it'll clone this command before the door opens so if you have two right there it'll open the door and then it'll clone these command blocks so it updates this command block And I broke it. Uh, well, that's that's kind of good. That just that just um, <laughs> shows you you can't stay on the command block or the pressure plate. You have to there. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. Maybe in another video. You could just do um, have it always active, detecting the player. That would work too, if you don't care about lag. All right, next we're going to have messages. So this detects when I'm four blocks away, and it says, go away. So go away, come back. There you go. And that is just say, go away. And then this one is the same thing, except for if you don't want this little at symbol right here. You do tell raw at a bracket. It's, yeah, that. It's text, go away. Make sure you have these right here. And that just does that. It says go away. And if you want to change the color, you do the same command and you add a little comma right next to this. And you do comma, color, red. Just like that. You can change whatever color you want. There you go. Alright, and the way this test for command works is in a radius is a big circle. And a cool little thing I did with this test for command, which you can do too, is test for a player 50 blocks away. So that means anywhere you are 50 blocks away, it's going to test for you in the circle. So what this does is whenever I'm in the radius, it tells me to go up, and whenever I'm out of the radius, it tells me to go down or backwards. And I change that to that, and you'll see why. If you come over here, and I place a block right here, see right here I'm I'm out of the radius, and then I'm in the radius. It tells me to go up, it tells me to go back, it tells me to go up, it tells me to go back. And um, so if I'm standing on this block right here. The closest I am, the closest I can be to the inside, it says up. So I go up. Then I go back. Then I go up. Then I go back. Then I go up. Then I go back. Up. And you do that row by row, and eventually you'll have a circle. Very big circle and that's just a nice way to make a circle in Minecraft. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and have a good one.